Makes us happy. That was Everybody Loves Raymond star Ray Romano. Now he's starring in Somewhere in Queens about a dad who is fixated on his teenage son getting a basketball scholarship, and he's here to tell us all about it. You've been here bright and early. You got here about I am. I am. You're early riser. My Good Morning America. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> can, I, can I pitch that? Oh no, yeah. I know. We'll see how it works. I'm pitching it as a new title. Uh, uh, yeah. It's just we a comma. That. Sorry. Yeah. Congrats on the new one. Thank I mean, you. let's see, you, you write, produce, star, directorial debut. Yes, yes. Do you have a, a, one of those roles more favorite than the other? Well, I was terrified to take on directing. I've never done it. And my agent talked me into it because it's a personal story. It's kind of, uh, and, he, and he, he was right. He said, why let someone else do it? And uh, it was so stressful uh, leading up to it. But once I did it and said it, I, I had fun, actually. Mm -hmm. I mean, I had great actors, so... So not one and done? If I wrote, I wrote this one. If I wrote another one, I would, I would direct that, yeah. People are, it's weird, because people are giving me a couple little offers now. Yeah. Wow. And, and, yeah, but it's, it, I don't know if, if I found something I was passionate mm -hmm. about, may, maybe, you know, another script. But I'm going to try to write another one. I just can't take, this took six years to write. Ugh, it was crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Let's give everybody a look. <laughs> Three or four games. Of course, I'm here all the time. I guess weird, right? Yeah, I can see you hate it. <laughs> and we got a glimpse of your real life son in that scene. He was the lead, the lead cheerleader. Yeah, it was <laughs> one of my twins. I have twin boys. They were all. I have three boys. They were all in it. Yeah, they all. I, I, you know, this was during COVID, so no one could come visit the set. That, you mm -hmm. know, there was policy. No, no visitors allowed. So the way we got around it was I, I put him in the movie. Put yeah. Family yeah. affair, that's some bubble. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, and I have Italian relatives. You know, there's, it's, there's scenes with Italian <laughs> banquet just halls. just kind of stuck everyone in. <laughs> yeah, there was dancing, you know, there was an Italian wedding, Cella Luna, and they were all dancing. That's nine of my relatives. <laughs> yeah. Way to see your family. Yeah. Speaking of family, this does hit home. It was very touching, that scene. Mm. And it is very personal to you. Can you share with us how reality well, meets it was, the it film? Well, it was based on, you know, when I, when I decided to write a script, I, I, I knew I wanted it to be about my hometown Queens and the people I grew up with. I didn't know the story. And my son, in reality, my son is 6'5", my youngest son, and he played in college, uh, high school basketball. And when it was ending, we knew he wasn't going to continue to play. It got very emotional for me. You know, I loved, I loved sharing that with my son. And if I'm being honest, I love being the father of the star basketball player. I love the attention. As sad and pathetic, I didn't get enough attention. You know, I came from a TV show, and then I needed more attention. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But, but, I, but the idea was, what if this was about a guy who that's all he had? That's yeah, all he had. Exactly. He felt very small and very insignificant, and, and this, he lived vicariously through his son. And it was ending. So that was the starting point of this story. Yeah. I'm, I'm sure it's going to be relatable to a mm. lot, a lot of families. And your wife and the boys, they got the, to see the rough draft before? The boys read all my stuff. My wife, you know, I've been married for a long time. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I'll give you an example. Today, when I left very early, I, I went over, I kissed my wife, and I thought she was asleep. And as I'm walking out the door, all I hear is, don't say anything stupid. <laughs> 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 yes. It's really she's especially supportive. at that time of morning. Right? Yeah. Well, she's supportive, but she's uh, her own. You know, it's 35 years. Yeah. So, and the yeah. backstory yeah. is, you guys were working in a bank. We met as bank tellers here in Qu in Queens. We were in Queens. Yeah, we met as bank tellers, and uh, I I was living at home. I lived at home till I was 29. I was not a catch, you know. <laughs> and I give her credit because. She married me before any of this happened, you know? So what was the break after bank telling? I started stand-up comedy, yeah. and stand-up comedy became a passion, and 11 years of stand-up, wow. and then I wow. did my first wow. Letterman spot, 
And when I did my stand up on Letterman, he signed me to a, a development deal, and that's how everybody wow. was Raymond. Wow, that's yeah. unbelievable. Were you, were you a funny teller? Were you one of those people? You, know, <laughs> you kind of do you try your material out yeah. there? You know, that's yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, but, you know, I, 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 I would write poems, funny poems, and give them to the girls oh, there, boy. you know. And she was the only one who paid attention, really, you know. <laughs> but, but I would ride my bike to work, you know. Aww. I, I was, just, yeah, I mean, I don't know what she, she <laughs> saw in me, but she did something, yeah. You, 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 had, you had a quite a, quite a game, you know. It was hidden. It was a hidden game. game. It was a hidden game. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We, we, she saw we, through it. Yeah. We were looking at the notes this morning. It's been 25 years since everybody loves yeah, Raymond. That's crazy. Yeah. 25 years. It was like another lifetime. It really does. It, yeah. But but it's it lives on. I mean, we all, you see a scene, you just can't help but smile mm. and laugh a lot. I mean, it was yeah. it was ca lightning in a bottle. And you didn't, cast, you, didn't want a, you didn't want that title to be? A oh, no, no. That title is based on my brother, you know, is portrayed in the show. And he was a, my brother was a New York City police officer. And he used to compare our lives. And he would say, you know, I go to work, uh, I get <laughs> shot at, Raymond goes to work, and everybody loves Raymond. Mm. So they, that was a sarcastic comment. Yeah. Mm -hmm. they, they used it as a working title when we were writing it. And I was so petrified. He goes, no, no, we'll change it. And then CBS fell in love with the title. And here I we mean, are. it really does yeah. work. Yeah. It works. I'm not complaining. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah. we, did, we did okay. But as an insecure comedian and all, you don't want it. No. And then you know people are going to use it. They're going to do a play on words. Well, not everybody, you know, oh. you get a bad review or whatever. Yeah. And they still do, but it's okay. I'm, yeah. It worked out for you, yeah. Ray. It worked out I'm, for I'm you. I'm hanging in there. Yeah, yeah. you are. Yeah. Hey, thanks so much. Thank Appreciate you. Thank it. you. Thank you. For this. Good to be here. Thank and, you. And, and somewhere in Queens is in theaters on Friday. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.